Santa's got a brand new bag. And I got a brand new drink. If y'all ever haven't tried matcha yet. When you're a coffee person, try it. It's great in the mornings. Just like this tool is absolutely amazing to augment your Notion workflow. So I've been a recently converted Mac fanboy. I know, I know, sacrilege, whatever, whatever. It's a sacrilege I'll tolerate. But what the fact of the matter is, is that there is a lot of cool things that you can do with Mac with a specific tool. So for those of you that are aware, Mac has this really cool feature called Spotlight. You can open up different apps with it, open up settings, open up and do a various number of commands. You can do basic math with it, but there's something specifically helpful about another extension called Raycast. So if I press command space, this opens up Raycast. Raycast is essentially a higher level version of Spotlight. It's Spotlight on steroids, in my opinion. You're able to, as you can see right here, change where it's actually at. And you'll notice that there are a bunch of different suggestions based off of what I've previously opened. And you're able to do a fair amount of commands here. And a lot of these commands actually come from different tools. Like for example, I do capture area. I'm able to grab a screenshot using the tool that I use for screenshots called CleanShot X. Now if you go to Raycast, what's really cool is while this is only a Mac app, I apologize. If you check out the store, you see a myriad of different extensions. And all of these extensions allow you to do a fair amount of really cool things. For example, this one right here allows you to search for folders on your Mac, which for me, I'm actually gonna install right now because that would be very convenient. Then you can videos to edit is something that I would definitely open up. Yep, that's something I'm gonna use. Really cool feature. But not only for just baseline stuff on the Mac, you also can utilize this for a various number of apps that you have. For example, Notion. With Notion, we have a few different commands. So if I type Notion here, you'll see that there are a few different shortcuts within this. In Raycast, anytime we wanna access any of the different plugins we have, we can go to settings here, and then there'll be a fair amount of different ones. You can see what I have, and Notion is here. And then by toggling down, you can see the commands. You can actually record hotkeys to go along with these and add aliases for names. So what I think is really cool is obviously you can create a page in a Notion database for quick capture. You can capture a note quickly by doing quick capture with Notion. And then you can also search different places. So the primary action here is actually opening, but you can also preview this. So let's show you exactly what I mean. If I type search Notion, first I'm gonna have to sign into the account. So when I want to add a new item to a database, what I can do is I can type create database page and utilize this task database page. So for me, I'd put take out the trash, assigned to would be me. I'd put what different life trio would be in. So just life admin, I'd put it as a backlog task, housekeeping, date would be, I could put now, today, any projects that it would be related to, what the status is, then from there, if I press create page, I can see my little take out the trash test come up in my MRT backlog, which is essentially like my chores list and just like my basic, like don't forget to do this in life list. Another great reason that this is such a cool tool is that if we're on the homepage or anywhere that's not Notion, we also can jot down quick notes because quick capture would allow us to add this to specific pages within Notion. I mean, capture this as a bookmark, full page, summarize the page with AI, which is very cool. Um, and for example, if we have a URL, we can capture this, paste it in there, and then press capture. And in a moment, it will capture the content of the page. You can see right here. And then last but not least, I think my favorite of these is search notion, where here, this will end up allowing me to pull up any of the various pages that are within my entire notion database. For example, if I want to open up my running log, if it was a recent search, it can be at the top, but regardless, I could type running log and then it would open that page right here. That is insanely quick and easy to do. I don't really know of another tool that allows you to make Notion feel a little bit better because truthfully, sometimes I don't feel that good. When it comes to just navigating and finding stuff, if the search is a little bit quicker than Notion search feature, sometimes don't be surprised. Notion search feature does leave a little bit to be desired, but you leave nothing to be desired as a fan base. And I appreciate each and every one of you for making the time to watch this video. 
Just like you'll make the time to watch this video on how to improve your productivity even more.